Hi everyone, so it's currently September 1st today and I'm getting ready for September. I had a really long trip this weekend, so I just took some time off, did absolutely nothing related to planning and journaling and all that stuff, and I am ready and super energized to get started with September. So this is gonna be a very busy month. I have a lot to do and you'll see why soon. So we're gonna do the plan with me today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I'm up to date with appointments, trips, or whatever it is that I have to do this month, anything that I already committed to, and I'm just gonna drop those into my bullet journal. So this is what this part of my planning looks like. I just know that I have some very important dates over here that I just dropped down. Anything that is a birthday or something like that, I'll go over it with gray because it's not what I want to draw my attention. So I'm gonna go over this one and this one. Those are both birthdays. This where it's multiple days, that's probably a trip or something like that. These are the days that I'm gonna do videos, be uploading videos, which is why I jotted that down over here. I have a very big due date for a bet that I did about losing weight, the 27th. So I'm gonna make sure to make that pop with a little bit of yellow. And that's it. This part is pretty simple. It's literally just dropping things into the calendar and this is a secret date. I can't really show what's coming up this day yet, um, but stay tuned. And that's it. Now let's move on. So after making sure I know what I have to do when, I am going to go into and plan my goals. So for this is the most fun part for me and I look first at my yearly goals and I try to figure out what of that I'm going to be using and kind of following and trying to get through this month. I have that over here. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I made it on my Instagram, a little explanation of how this spread works for my 2020 goals. And right now I'm gonna go through that and try to decide what my goals are gonna be for September. So before I jot them down in my board journal, I normally just write down my goals in a post-it because I don't know, sometimes I make too many and I want to go through them and I want to actually decide and prioritize what needs to be prioritized. So I'm going to jot them down here first. Alright, so I think I got it. So from my year the goals, from my review and the things that I kind of want to get done this month and what I've been thinking, I have come up with four to five goals that I think are going to be my sole focus for the entire month of September. So the first one is losing weight and I made a bet for this, I just mentioned that when I was doing my calendar and the due date for the bet is the 27th of September. So. I really gotta work on that this month. It's gonna be one of my top priorities. And then the second one is keep doing like the YouTube videos that I do, look at a Skillshare course and keep reading consistently. Those are gonna be parts of my goals. It's just kind of like keeping up with that routine that I already have. Then to set up my Pinterest, Land for Productivities Pinterest, which I really hope that I can dive into this month. And the last one is a surprise I can't tell you yet, but stay tuned on my Instagram to hear more about this. So now that I have all those decided, I'm gonna go ahead and write them down into my dashboard and make sure to finish this spread with other things that I wanna be keeping track of or that I wanna have kind of like right in front of me. And the most important part for me when I write my goals is to think of the actions that I am gonna do for each one. So for now, I have four habits that I'm going to track and that is going to be reading every day, practicing Duolingo, answering all of my messages before I go to bed and answering all my DMs before I go to bed. And that's it. The fourth goal 
is to post six YouTube videos. So I'm gonna track that in my calendar and I created a mini tracker over here, as you can see, where I just make like some lines to fill in six boxes, which is how many I wanna upload. And this way I can keep track of that. Next goal is to read at least one book. I have my reading tracker for that, which is on this side of the page. I just have the numbers and the of the days and then the page numbers over here of how much I read. This one really helps me. The rest is part of the dashboard is where I write little things that I want to keep track of during the month and to be able to see them clearly. So I made these, I don't know, weird headers over here. At the bottom of my dashboard, I really try to figure out the routines that I'm gonna follow. So mainly the workout routines and finally my kind of like life style routine i had already created in my bullet journal for september setup which you can check out if you're interested to see how i did all of these i created a huge stats tracker where i'm just going to be able to track all of my weight loss and all of that kind of like health stuff that i was kind of wanted to work on this month and that's why i created that as for my routines, I'm doing Mondays, it's gonna be like a film day, Instagram kind of uploading thing. Tuesday is a focused day on projects, whatever those goals I showed you in the beginning were. And Wednesday is usually a YouTube editing day, that's how it's been for the past few months. Thursday's videos go up, so this day is kind of like a bonus day for me. Like I get to focus on whatever I need, if I need to finish editing or if I need to film another video or whatever I need to do. And then Fridays is admin day figure out my life basically. For workouts, Mondays is upper body and abs, Tuesdays is lower body and stretch, Wednesdays is abs and yoga, Thursdays is full body plus core, and Fridays is just the flexible yoga. And I know that this is not something that I stick to every single week, but this is what I aim for. And on to the final step of this video, which is for me planning all my content, which videos I wanna create, what I wanna upload, but this month is kind of different because of that surprise that I told you is coming up. So I can't really show you the whole behind the scenes. For now, I gotta keep it a surprise. So stay tuned to see the content and to see what's up and what is coming. And I can of course answer any questions that you guys have. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you found something useful. And if you did, please subscribe or give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more of these little glimpses in my life of planning. Any questions that you have, I'll be happy to answer in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.